Okay, I'm trapped. My Baltic Sea cruise in April has been canceled. Hockey has been canceled. Golf has been canceled. NASCAR, IndyCar, and Formula One have been canceled. My beloved St. Louis Cardinals are going to be at least two weeks late getting started. And they're not even playing spring training games anymore, so I've got nothing to watch. Every type of basketball is canceled, the NBA and March Madness. Even my fun XFL football team, the St. Louis Battlehawks, is done for the season. And to add insult to injury, our intrepid rally promotion group had to cancel this year's Rally in the 100 Acre Wood last Friday. This COVID-19 thing has certainly taken a lot of the fun out of life right now. Most travel abroad has been curtailed, and at this recording, it's appearing domestic travel might be limited or eliminated shortly as well. I have to admit, in the beginning, I was skeptical of all these precautions. It's a flu variant, after all. How bad could it actually be? It's looking like the morbidity rate might settle in somewhere around 1%. And I'm in one of the high-risk groups, simply by the date of my birth. And I still don't see a terrific risk for myself or my immediate family. Slowly, the medical industry, some on our own rally committee, began to convince me that while I might believe I'm impervious, and I do, of course, I can't guarantee the safety of all those around me. Several on our own rally committee are immunocompromised. The communities in South Central Missouri in which we race have very limited medical facilities. How would they feel if one of our thousand or so volunteers, racers, or crews, let alone spectators, somehow introduced the strain into their community? I'm convinced we did the right thing. It's going to cost our group a significant amount of money, since we'd already invested in signage, giveaways for our volunteers, and all that stuff that has to be in place for an event that brings in a thousand out-of-towners and entertains another two to three thousand spectators. It's devastating to the communities the event supports. Hotels, restaurants, campgrounds, gas stations, quick shops. They count on this weekend every year. And this is just a fraction of what canceling a hockey game or a baseball game will be. But this one hits home. It's thousands of hours of committee work already invested, lost. If I can believe the medical professionals, and I choose to, the ultimate defense against this attack would be for every human being on the planet to remain rigidly in place, not moving or touching anything for the next 14 days. That would eliminate hosts on which the beast can survive. Well, barring that, minimizing human connection by limiting travel, social distancing, washing hands continuously is a close second. And then there's the financial impact. What are we to do about that? As my friend David Nicklaus said in his recent article in the St. Louis Post-Dispatch last week, wash your hands and then sit on them. My knower judger is in full bloom. I'm pissed. I'm not ready to give up all the things I'm being asked, nay told, to give up. At the same time, my learner researcher sees exactly why giving all this up is the best thing to do right now and will speed up the demise of this scourge. So chill. It's what I'm going to do. It's Kim, and this is another moment of clarity.